What's up, guys? Welcome to Cooking with Me. I'm so excited to have you guys back with me on this year. Listen, Thanksgiving is my absolute favorite holiday, and I always love to deal with my family and friends, especially my Tabernacle family and friends. And we're excited once again to be back in the kitchen. I know, I know, uh, during re regular years, we'll be gathering together. We always have our Thanksgiving dinner and worship with the pastor. But you guys absolutely love cooking with PG so much last year. We're doing 2.0 this year, and I'm excited. Matter of fact, we got a couple of different things we're going to add to the elements this year. This is going to be cooking with PG 2.0, and I'm so grateful for you coming. I want you to know that this is going to be a wonderful time for us to gather to cook together and just have some fun that's what it's all about so make sure that you share this make sure you call somebody tell them cooking with pg is on because this is going to be a time where you and i can have a great time in this festive moment even in the midst of a pandemic we can celebrate the fact of family and fellowship and we know that in the midst of everything god is still good so listen guys i want you to go and get your ingredients together we sent out the menu so listen let's go and jump in it matter of fact i want to share this incredible dish you know since 2008 i have not I eat meat. That's some kind of a thing that I do in my diet. Now listen, if you love meat, I got you. I promise you, I ain't gonna leave you hanging this year. But we want to do something that I know all those who like me, who love seafood, is gonna really have a great time. So we're gonna start with our seafood pasta. And I got an incredible individual that's gonna come and share. She's over our prayer ministry. She's also married to our very own Reverend Woods. And so come on, let's welcome to the stage right now, Minister Joyce Woods. And she's gonna come to give her, give us our opportunity to share in our seafood pasta. What's up, Joyce? How you doing today? Awesome. So grateful to have good. you. Listen, we are going to have seafood pasta. And we I can are. see all that we have here right now. Can you go ahead and tell those who are eating with us today and cooking with us, what ingredients do we have? Yes. Yeah, so to start, we have our tricolor pasta. Tricolor now. This yes. is, I, I like the color. It looks like yes. Thanksgiving. I see it orange is. and green. That's cool. Yes. And then we, next we have our imitation crab meat. Okay. And then we have medium sized cooked shrimp. All right. It's already cooked. Yes. Okay, it's already cool. cooked. Awesome. Yep, that's so what else we got here? So once yes. we put all that in, I, I yes. see, is it, now, yes. I ain't gonna guess. I, you tell me what this is. That is Kraft mayonnaise. Kraft mayonnaise. Yes. All right, cool. Yes. What I else don't we like helmets, so okay. I use Kraft. <laughs> Kraft, y'all, she yes. said no helmets. That's We're gonna right. rock with Kraft. Yes, and that is Miracle Whip. Okay. Yes, and then I have some finely chopped onions. Okay. And red pepper and green pepper. Awesome, y'all got that? Yes. Make sure you grab that, go and get it out. We're gonna grab it and put it together, our seafood pasta. All right, Joyce, I'm gonna let you rock and yes. roll. And while you're doing it, we're gonna talk through it and tell okay. us what you think. So where'd you get this? Yes. Um, where'd you get this um, from? Um, it just kind of started. I, I love seafood. Okay. I love pasta, okay. pasta dishes. Okay. So I just kind of experimented okay. one day and I was like, well, let me do it like a seafood pasta. Okay. And I kind of put all this stuff together. Okay. And it turned Is this out the good. dish that got Mike? Is this yeah, the dish? I think so. Yes. Out? Okay, I got yes. it. Mike, let's yes. be found out. And a lot of so people requested. Oh, awesome. Yep, awesome. They do. So, so I'm going to let you rock. We do yes. it. You're going to take some of the pasta. That's right. Yep. Okay. So First thing we do is put the pasta in the bowl. All right. So the tricolor pasta, we'll put that in there. All right, yes. cool. And awesome. then next, we're gonna add the shrimp. Okay, add the shrimp. And you said it's medium size. Is that just yes, what you wanna just, do? Or, nice or they can add size. larger if they get it? Okay. If you like to, but that's a nice bite size. Okay, cool. And then we put in the yes. imitation crab meat. Yes, that's what that is. All right. Yep. And then that? we will add our so Just adding all green in peppers, there. Yep. Green peppers in after yep. that. All right. And then red pepper. Now, Joyce, you're from New York, right? I am. Okay. Yes, Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn yes, in the house. In the That's house. right. That's Big right. A. <laughs> yep, and then next we will add okay. the mayo. Add the mayo. Y'all see all this going in, right? And then the Miracle Whip. Okay. And next we have to add some seasoning. All right, got some seasoning. What are we rolling yes. with? Now, I don't measure. I did the best okay. I can with my you measurements. Don't measure. Yes, okay. I just kind no of pinch. go in there. It's, it's not like my grandma. Just, she ain't got no measuring cups right. nowhere. Just, just, just till you feel good. Yes, that's right. Till you feel good. That's and it. just season so that's to taste. Black pepper. Black pepper, All right. yes. And then next is obey. Seasoning. Obey. Yes. Oh, my, my Baltimore folk, there. my Maryland folk, they love that obey. Yes. She just, she gonna shake, just shake. That's all you yes, gotta do. That's it's right. not about a pinch, it ain't about a cup. Just shake it. Shake it until yes. it feels good. And this is a vegetable seasoning. Vegetable that seasoning. Gives it Goya. An excellent taste. Okay. Yes, We're gonna does. rock with Goya. You know, that's Goya, right. you know, yes. during this last political season, that's acting a little right. crazy. But, but we're still gonna rock with it's Goya. It's really good. And just one packet. One packet. One, yes. Yeah. Add that in there. All right. And then just stir it cool. up. Cool, I'm gonna let you rock yep. with okay, it great. while you're cooking it and, and pushing it up. This yes. actually looks incredible. I yes. love seafood. Okay, great. And so it's been since 2008 since I stopped eating meat. Um, but I, I initially, when I started, I went right to vegetable. Okay. Um, but only about, I think seven years ago, I added seafood. Yes. Because mm -hmm. my trainer was like, hey, PG, you need to have some protein. Yes. So I, I'm big on seafood. That's the main staple of my diet. And so uh, I love shrimp. 
Um, and so crab is always important. So this and looks curry. incredible. Y'all seeing this? Yeah. Man, this looks so yummy. I mean, I know we got a few days to go before Thanksgiving, but man, this is incredible. Yes. Do you do anything else? Like once you no, do it, do you chill it? it and um, then... Yes, it has to chill for about two hours. So two so, hours yes. after you mix it. After you mix it. Listen, guys, right. make sure yes. you have enough room in your refrigerator. That's right. And yeah, uh, we chill it. Um, got it mixed, and then you can just kind of taste it, and okay. you know, just see if you need to add a little bit more pepper okay. or um, the obey, and okay. then you're good to go. Listen, so this is seafood pasta. Yes. Did y'all see that? Pasta. How easy that is. And yeah. so even what we gave, I think you can feed a large family Yes, with you this. can. Yes, yeah. yes. So guys, once again, this is our opening dish. We are doing our seafood pasta. We got our crab. We got our imitation. Uh, uh, we got our shrimp. We also got our pasta. I promise you this is incredible. Minister Woods, thank you so much. This is incredible. This is a great way to start. And so remember, those, make sure that you get that together. She said, remember, after you finish making it, put it in the refrigerator about two hours. Let it chill so we can rock and roll. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to put it in the refrigerator. We already got a lot of stuff in here, so we're just going to... And this is the finished product. So after you've done the two, two hours or so chill and you're ready to rock, I love the presentation. Presentation really matters. Yep. And once all that is done, this is the finished product of our seafood pasta. Do you have a name for it? No, just seafood pasta. Joyce Woods <laughs> Seafood Pasta. Yes. That's what we're going to rock with. All right, thank you so much. Once again, get that in. Remember to put it in, two hours in the refrigerator, and you are ready to rock and roll. Once again, come on, let's give it up for Minister Joyce Woods. Thank you for sharing with us. Cooking with PG, appreciate you. All right, guys, we're ready to move to the next portion. Make sure you get your ingredients together as we move into our next side dish. All right, guys, you got your ingredients. Listen, growing up, we had a garden in the backyard of my house in Pickard Street in Greensboro, North Carolina. And so my grandfather was just a country boy. We had a lot of vegetables. And one of the favorite vegetables we had, and listen, it's going to be crazy because I know many kids don't like it, but I used to absolutely love the squash that my granddad would bring and, and grow into our backyard. So listen, I'm excited because this next dish is our squash casserole. That's right. You heard it. It's going to be incredible. And so listen, I got some friends that's going to come. Y'all already know her. She's probably the most famous person at our church because I mean, whenever you think of food and tabernacle, you think of Miss Ann. So I want to thank Miss Ann. Come on over, Miss Ann. We appreciate having her back with us this time. I had to bribe her, y'all. I really had to work hard because she said I tried to embarrass her. I didn't embarrass her. I love you so much. I'm so grateful for you being with us and rocking with us again. You still love me? Uh -huh. Forever? Forever. And ever, ever? And ever, ever. All right, that's cool. So we're ready to roll. But we also got some help, too. We're going to bring up with us someone who's a very integral part of our church, does incredible work behind the scenes. You see on Sunday, she be singing in the praise and worship team, but she also does great work administrating for. So we also gonna bring Selena Swift is gonna come and rock with us, and so we're excited to have them with us. So listen, we're gonna talk through our our squash casserole. Y'all go ahead and take the mask off. We we good. I've been got four shots, so I'm, I'm we all vaccinated. We good. Matter of fact, that reminds me. Go ahead and make sure you take care of yourself. That's right. You're going with family, friends. Be safe this this uh, holiday season. That's right. I hope you get vaccinated. That's why I'm, I'm pushing. Amen. So all right, Miss Ann, Selena, what we're gonna do? Talk us through our squash casserole. Okay, in this pot, Selena's so gonna be stirring up the squash. We have the yellow squash, okay. the zucchini squash, we have the carrots, okay. and the onion, and the salt, and the pepper. And that's these ingredients we have up front. Yes. Right? So they can see some of the things that we already have. So once again, say that again, it's the yellow squash. Any particular reason? You, you, so the yellow squash, you said something else, I zucchini, think. Zucchini. Zucchini. Green right. squash. Uh huh. We have carrots, salt carrots, already in there. That's important. Onions. Onions. A little pepper okay. and salt. Okay, cool. Any particular reason? Where did you get this um, this dish from? What brought you these ingredients? I know you've been cooking forever, but what, what kind of help is there? Someone gave you this, this recipe? Mm -hmm. what, Years you... ago, one of my school teachers, my wow. fifth grade teacher. Wow. Fifth grade teacher gave it to you? Mm -hmm. Just say, just, hey, this is a squash casserole Yeah, recipe. we was in Kroger, wow. and she was going to fix this, and I was going to fix another one. Swap and that was it? Mm -hmm. So even in fifth grade, you was cooking? No. Oh, you was just doing what? Just... I just ran into her in the Oh, store. wow, that is so crazy. Uh -huh. That's amazing. Yeah. Look, man, that's incredible. So Selena's going in, she's, uh, she's stirring it up, keep stirring it up, and stirring it up. Anything you would tell the people who are watching and cooking with us? Anything about this dish? Because, you know, a lot of people can be a little iffy about squash. What is it that you like about it? What I like about it, when I put the cheese in mm. it and the ranch dressing and salt, I used to do the one with the um, chicken soup. Okay, chicken soup. And I fell in love with this one. Okay. And so it's, it's simple. What made it just simple? Was it taste, texture? Taste okay. and the texture. Wow. And okay. how she told me to prepare it. 
Oh, wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. How long should they stir? How long? I know we did a lot of pre-planning and pre-preparing, uh, so we had to kind of get through our, our cooking show, but how long do you think this should take people? It's about done. Now, it doesn't okay. take long when you slice it thin. That's okay. why, you know, I was showing you how thin you so slice it's gotta be, it. So it's got to be sliced thin. That's, mm -hmm. that's critical. And the same thing with your onions. Okay. Slice them thin. Okay. And thin, guys. Carrots make sure already, it's thin. Your carrots already shredded. Okay. Okay. So everything, it doesn't take long okay. to boil and, and just season it. And we put it in the bowl. Awesome. So cool. that's what Selena finna do. All right, cool. So we're getting ready to put it in the bowl. And, you know, I, I, one of the things in, in, in watching you do what you do mm -hmm. um, is saying, one thing I, I really admire about how you cook is you got a good feel for it. You know, some people have to be so regimented about, I need a cup of this, I need two tablespoons of this. But you right. really kind of flow with how you feel. Was that just when you're in here in the kitchen and you're doing this, it's just a connectivity that you're doing? Because I know many people, I know for me, when I cook, because you know I cook all the time, uh, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm a slave to the to the recipe, but I, you know, I'm admiring how, how you really just got a good feel for it. Is there any particular way for many people to say, you know, I want to kind of cook like that. I want to cook like Ms. Ann. I mean, you are the chef uh, of just, of Tabernacle. I mean, everything we do goes to you. So, so can you talk about the feel that you get in cooking? Good job, son. Put some well, more in there. You just heard us. You know, it comes from my mother and my grandmother. Mm -hmm. You know, they never measured. They, they never just, measured. Never measured. And so I had what I had to do is actually do it and measure it. Wow. In order to give the recipe. Okay. Because I don't. You don't. Measure. You just feel. It. You know, it's like people ask me because I don't write my sermons down. I just kind of, I just float. So you kind of, what what I do in the pulpit is what you do in the kitchen. Right. That's cool. That's right. That's right. That's right. Joyce. We need some help. We need some help. Joyce, y'all know, Joyce coming back. She's going to be coming in. Y'all know last year we had to get on her because she'd be coming in and out. Joyce, we need some help. Can you can you help them? So now we put in the thing. Uh, get some cheese. Add some the cheese in the bowl. That's all. We pre-measured the cheese, the sour cream, and the ranch dressing. Good job, Selena. You really did that stern. You were stern. Stern really good. Joyce worked with me in the she kitchen. Do. She, she knows. do. She do. She's a good cook. She's incredible. Yes, yes, she is. Yes. What would we do without Joyce? I don't she's know. She's going to be in and out. You know, she's going to be calling Joyce all the time. Cause... So put the cheese in there. You put it on top. All right. What else we add on that? We're going to add in the sour cream. The sour cream. Come on, Selena. Help with the sour cream. That's good. That's real good. Any particular sour cream? Any, any particular type that you use? Yes, we do. Daisy. Daisy. Yeah. Daisy. It's a Daisy sour cream. Then we add the ranch dressing. Ranch dressing. Selena, why are you putting that in? You got any favorite like holiday family stories? Um, I'm usually if I'm somewhere for the holidays in Virginia. Virginia. Um, get together, okay. Talk about you know our favorite thing that year. Okay. Okay. I think that's one of the big things I absolutely love about Thanksgiving is because many people say, PG, why do you love Thanksgiving? I say because that's the only holiday that's on a Thursday. <laughs> you know, it's always going to be a Thursday. And so for me, especially as I got into ministry, and you know, I'm getting old now, Ms. Ann. Uh, you know, sometimes the, the holidays will fall on the weekends. Thanksgiving is always on Thursday. So I always appreciate coming in. So now you put it in, you're mixing it together. Yes. Okay. And that looks good. That looks really good. I think we got a little something we can pull that from the side. Joyce, need a napkin. Joyce. Joyce. Because one of the things my grandma would make sure we do while we're cooking, you always got to make sure it's clean and clean. It's right here, Joyce. Grandma will always tell me, listen now, you need to make sure this kitchen is clean while you're cooking. I'm like, Grandma, why can't we wait till we clean up afterwards? But that's Charlotte Swan, y'all. Don't tell I'm saying it, talking to junk about it, but. Crackers. All right, so now we're gonna put what? The crackers, crackers. on top? Okay. Mm -hmm. Any particular ones? I see these are Ritz. Ritz. No. So these, are these communion crackers? No. So can we call it like communion? We don't uh, have squash any wine. Oh, it, 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 it depends, it depends. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> hey, Ritz crackers. This ain't the communion crackers. Right. I mean, unless you want the communion crackers. You know, we've been virtual for like over 18 months. So I guarantee you that people use Ritz, crawl, uh, Ritz uh, crackers as communion crackers. So I just Well, you know, cool. I did. You know, did we, you? Before we, you know, went back to church, when I was sitting watching. You use Ritz? Sit, I used Ritz. Not goldfish? 
Yeah. I use Ritz and um, Goldfish grape kinda juice. Has. Ritz and grape juice. So mm -hmm. are you gonna you gonna be on on live? You're gonna say grape juice. Grape juice. That's your final answer. That's my final answer. Okay. You've been going to Tab how long? Oh, fifty years. Fifty years. And y'all mm -hmm. use real wine. We use real wine to Tab. Mm -hmm. We do. Before. Uh, but so at home during the pandemic. At I home grape juice. juice. I get it. I'm with it. So we put the put the crackers on top. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else we do? That's it. Now we ready. Yeah. What do you heat the uh, oven up to as we get ready to transition to the oven? Um, Joyce, what? what? 375. 375. Okay. okay. That's that magic number. 375. So I'm gonna let you turn it on. Selena, go ahead and help her get this into the oven. Guys, listen. This is very important. You see how this rolls. How long do you think this prep takes, Miss Ann? How long does it take? Um, oh, maybe a good. 30, 45 minutes. 30, 45 minutes. So mm -hmm. when you are getting ready to do the squash casserole, make sure that you allot about 30, 45 minutes. Now remember, if we put it in the context, we're all cooking this together. And so uh, once we do that, how long do you keep it in there? Is that the 30, the 35 oven. minutes? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then once it's good, what do you look for? Golden brown? Golden brown, and then um, because of the butter on the crackers, okay. the butter goes down into your squash and it'll start bubbling on the wow. side. Okay. Cool. So then you know. Cool. That's when you know. It's a feel. You got to know. That's when I know. Good. So now that you got it, go ahead. Let's pull it out. We've already kind of prepared. And when everything is done, this is what our squash casserole looks like. We're going to call it communion squash casserole because I I still think those Ritz crackers are like communion crackers. All right. So listen, guys, that was easy. So it's going to take about 30, 35 minutes. As Ms. Ann said, make sure that as you look at it in the oven, uh, that you see it bubble up. And so once again, let's give it up for Miss Ann and Selena. Thank you all so much for our amazing squash casserole. All right, guys, you got your ingredients. We're ready to roll to our next dish. Now, once again, I told you that growing up, we had a garden in the backyard. And one of the things that, because my granddad was from the country, my grandma was from the country, uh, some of the things we would do together is that we have to make sure that we prepare our vegetables. So I know about shucking corn, and I also know about snapping green beans. That's right, listen, I know as a kid, most of us perhaps didn't even want to eat much of the green beans, but green beans are healthy for you. And I'm so excited for this next dish because we're gonna do a green bean casserole. Listen, I got some other friends coming back. We got Miss Ann. She's going to be rocking with us. Come on back over. She's going to help us with this dish. But we also got the man, the myth, the legend, Dante Stewart. He's part. He's over our digital campus. He's our digital pastor at our church. We're so excited to have him. So he's going to be rocking with us and helping us with our green bean casserole. All right, Miss Ann, talk to us about this green bean casserole. Okay, Dante. You're going to take green All right. Beans. What's our ingredients? We got green beans. Mm -hmm. What else we got? Cream of mushroom. Cream of mushroom. And a little soy sauce. A little soy sauce. And we have the um, French onion. Okay. To go on top. Oh, awesome. Well, Dante, man, tell the people where you're from. You know, it's always interesting. Most of you got in your book, an incredible new book, Out Shouting in the Fire. And so a lot of people, they, they say they know you. They see yeah, you kick no. off out to have global. <laughs> yeah. They see you, they say, the guy with the hair. I said, hey, yeah. For real. And the gold chain, and, uh, <laughs> and he be rocking and rolling. So, man, I, it's always interesting. We were talking before this and getting this together. You, you, you always claim to be a country boy. So tell us about being a country boy from South yeah, Carolina. That's good. I'm from North well, Carolina, so hey. we're the best Carolina, North right, Carolina, but right. we'll let y'all South Carolina yeah, people have so it. So I'm from St. Matthew, so between three towns actually. Three towns. So, so my mama didn't want us to go to white school. Okay. So, uh, we had to go to the black school, okay. which is St. Matthew, so I had to stay in my, at my grandma's house in okay. Sandoron. Okay. But we lived in Swansea, South Carolina. Okay. So we stayed in Swansea. Swansea. Went to grandma house. Grandma house. Week, throughout and then the week. went to St. Matthew's at Cowan County High School. school wow. So, I like to tell people, I'm the type of country boy where you know, uh, we know, the best food is at the gas station. <laughs> the livers, the hot sauce, the chicken, mm -hmm. the potato wedges. That's right, that's right. Honey mustard. That's right. The old school honey mustard. That's right. So I'm from that part of South Carolina. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So have you made green green bean casserole before? I actually have not made okay. green bean casserole, but I have done a lot of stuff with green beans. Okay. I usually, at home, uh, just like you, I'm uh, vegetarian mostly vegetarian. Um, I usually saute my green beans with red peppers mm. and onions. And I might have a little soy sauce mm -hmm. or whatnot. So, and, and then um, I might bake them uh, or, or just leave it like that. So, yeah. 
So guys, Dante always be coming into the office. Somebody, you know, PG. <laughs> I was cooking this weekend, so we we, we still gonna ask his wife. I mean, she is. She said that he does, and so we we know how that rolls. So you put in what? This is the soy sauce. So you put in that cream of mushroom. Uh, you add that soy sauce, and what else you put in there after that? You gotta stir it up, stir it oh, up. Oh, like stir it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so talk, man. So beans. Dante, oh, get it in. Um, gotta incorporate it. Oh yeah. You okay. just released the book, man. Can you tell us, man? And we're really proud of you. Excited to have you part of our church, but really excited for what God is doing in you. So talk about this process, man. Why you stirring this yeah, thing up yeah, yeah. about well, this book? Well, book writing is much like doing food. You mm -hmm. Take all your little ingredients and you got your little measurement and mm -hmm. try and put it all together, stir it up. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, you know, in the end, you got something good. You know, just like cooking, you might make mistakes sometimes. <laughs> and you got to go back and revise. Mm -hmm. So that's like the editing process mm -hmm. to make it the best possible dish possible. Mm -hmm. So when it come out, you ain't, as people say, you ain't trying things on Thanksgiving. That's cool. You already did your experiment. That's cool. That's so, cool. Uh, with my book, man, it's, it's been just a process of growing as a writer, putting the right things in the pot, choosing the right ingredients and things like that. So hopefully now that the book out is in the world, people can like this dish, oh, yeah. enjoy it. That's right, yeah. man, that's right. How long did that process take you in writing? Whew. Well, as a writer, I've been writing since now. I, I just kind of sprinkled it. Sprinkle on top. I, I mm -hmm. sprinkled it, like, like Salt Bay. I, mm -hmm. I can't salt it, because <laughs> I might spill something. I don't know, I spill that. But uh, I, I started writing actually in uh, 2016 mm -hmm. publicly. Um, and then I just kept trying and trying at it. I got a lot of rejection, a lot of rejection. Um, so started off writing essays, and then over time, as I started to read better books and things like that, and, and work at it. Ms. Ann said, that's it. That's yeah, she it. said, that's it. So <laughs> she said, your time up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but I, I kept growing, and, and people started seeing like, my ability as a writer, and kept encouraging me. Um, and I usually write every day, though. So like early in the morning, I'm up at 440. You know, work out, and then I'll have my time of reading for about 30 minutes, and then 10, 15 minutes of writing. That's awesome. I'm always working on something. And then, like, then it turned into a book. So, yeah. That's good, man. So proud of you. Yeah. Uh, it's going to go big and big. And so, yeah. but Ms. Ann said we got to go ahead and get this in here. All we right. Got, we now, got where this got to go? This got to go in the oven. In the okay. oven. Okay. Joyce. It's time to Clean bake. up, Joyce. <laughs> so right. we put it on what? Three, 375 again? Is that the magic mm -hmm. number? 375, Joyce. Miss Ann said 375. Which one is it? And you can take the All right. One so we'll get in there. We got it. Okay. okay. Gotta, I, how long you put in there? Joy's trying to make changes. That's how she runs everything. So then it's in there. How long do you typically keep it in there? Um, I think about 30, 20 minutes. Okay. 20 minutes. Woo! All right. Now that thing's kind of that, that thing hot. It's, it's kind of mm. steamy now. It's good. So how long, so is this less like with our other casserole, you had to kind of look and see when it when it's ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. But this one just about 20 minutes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. You know, everybody oven cooks a little different. Okay. You know, um, sometimes mine, I have two ovens, one wow. cook faster. She got two oven. ovens, y'all. Y'all hear what she said? She got two ovens. That's when you know you're balling for real. <laughs> yeah, indeed. She, she, she said it's so casual. You know, I got two ovens. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I got one, and <laughs> that's good. How many you got? I got one. <laughs> okay. You say I got two others. So. Okay. But what, sometimes you just have to watch it and make sure you don't want your um, onions to burn. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. This is incredible, Dante. We're proud of you. Appreciate your help in this one, Miss Ann. You're always the bomb. So once again, y'all see our green bean casserole. All right, guys, you got your ingredients. We are ready to roll to our next dish. And matter of fact, it's one of my favorite dishes. Listen, I know for most people, uh, if you like me, I oftentimes get them confused. What's a yam versus a sweet potato? <laughs> I really think they're both the same thing. And so we get ready to have our sweet potato. Listen, souffle. I, I, you know, we bougie here. Not, not sweet potato casserole. No sweet potato souffle. Say it with me. Souffle. That's right. We're gonna put it. We're gonna make it roll. All right. So once again, we're excited to be able to share this. And once again, uh, the real king and queen, uh, uh, the real chef of this experience. Come on, Miss Ann. Come on back over here. You rolling? We got it. So I hope you got your ingredients. And we also got an amazing helper. And so come on, let's welcome Miss Deja. Is gonna rock with us, and she's gonna help us. All right. So Miss Ann, this is our sweet potato souffle. Right. Say it with me, souffle. Souffle. That's right. All right, cool. Now tell me what we got and what's the ingredients so people know. Because me and you went back and forth before this because people were saying it's a sweet potato and yam. Right. Zebra didn't know. 
Reverend Z didn't know there's no, a difference. No, she didn't know. We had to educate her. You had to educate her. Uh, she didn't know. She was no, trying she to tell you and I, who right. are experts in the kitchen, right. they had two different things, right? And but we, it's not. It's, it's not. the same thing. Same thing. See, y'all, when y'all see Reverend Z, go ahead and tell her that she need to know the difference, that sweet potato and yams are the same thing. That's right. So tell us what we got. What we got. Okay, we have the sweet potato. Okay, sweet potato. In the bowl. We already got it. All we right. already have it mixed okay. with the canned milk sugar. Okay, what's that? So right here is the ingredients. So you already this have the ingredients. This the canned milk. Okay, how would you put, I know we kind of pre-prepped, but what would you do? What is that in it? So so in here, it's what, what ingredients out there that you made to put We in? boil the sweet potatoes. We boil them, okay. Yes, and then we peeled them. Peeled them. Put them in the bowl. Okay. And we took the mixer to get as many of the strings out. Okay, you gotta get the strings out. Mm -hmm. Sweet potato yam, same thing. Right. That's right. No. No, they're the same, just how you prepare them, but it's same This prepared same a little yes. different than the yam. Absolutely. Okay, then we add a little sugar. A little sugar. Butter. Butter. Flavor. Flavor. Flour. And flour. Mm -hmm. You put that all in mm -hmm. after you do it. How long did that pre prep I know we're here now, but how long would that typically, those who are cooking with us, how long would it take for them? Boiling the potatoes, it took maybe an hour and a half, two, according to how okay. thick they are and okay. how high okay. you turn the temperature. Okay. So remember, you, the pre-planning, the pre -planning, uh, before we get here and Deja starts doing this work, it's almost an hour and a half mm -hmm. to get it together, do it real well, because you don't want stringy no. sweet potato. You no. don't, that just, yeah, it just doesn't go down well. And it sounds don't. good, all right. Mm -hmm. So once all that is done, here we are. Here That's we right. are. All right, here cool. Here we are. All right, go ahead and leave Deja, you're gonna help us out. And what you gonna do now? She's gonna add some nutmeg. Some nutmeg. As much as she like to as her much taste. As much as like. So on you now, Deja. Okay. Then she's going to add some cinnamon. Some cinnamon. You know, cinnamon is one of the best things to kind of eat. You really don't have, like, no calories. So now, like we said, um, raisins are optional. Ooh, you put raisins in there? Mm -hmm. I like raisins. You like raisins in My there. grandchildren don't like raisins. I don't like raisins in there. Mm. Well, we won't put no raisins, raisins in our sweet potato souffle. That's right. No raisins mm -hmm. in your sweet mm -hmm. potato. So she's going to stir that up. And how long do you do it? The stirring process just to make sure that it's in there, right? Right. Okay. My man looking at you, I think she's trying to tell you subliminally that you need to it's stir nice. a little more, stir. <laughs> and use that strength. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Anything else about, I know we've been thinking uh, about Thanksgiving and we kind of talk about it. Any, any plans? What What are you thankful for this year, Miss Ann? What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my father. Mm. Today is his birthday. Wow. And um, Happy I'm birthday, thankful. Pops. Yep, 87 years 87 old. 87 years young. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. So, so I went and had breakfast with him this morning. That's amazing. Yeah. Tell Pops I say hello. Okay, I will. All right. Did you got anything yeah. you're thankful for? Life. Life. That's right. Life is incredible. And listen, after all we've been going through, it's just good to know we are alive. And so that's incredible. So after she has stirred it up, what else do we do after that? She's going to put it in the bowl. Put so it in the bowl. Since okay. y'all don't like raisins. No raisins. No raisins. Now you can put it in yours. If Me like and Joyce going to make our own. We're going to okay. put raisins in ours. You know what? It makes sense for Joyce to like raisins. <laughs> and her sweet potato soup. It, that, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. I, I, I can see Joyce putting raisins in, in that. She probably put raisins in her potato salad too. <laughs> her apple salad. She puts raisins. Okay, I can do that. Okay. But I can't rock with you if you put raisins in your potato salad. That's 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 neither here nor there. I'll let y'all rock with that. You know. Okay. Okay. So we put this in there. How much do you put in? Do you just cover the whole whole pan up? Mm-hmm. Okay. And level it out because you're gonna add marshmallows. Okay. All right. All right. That's enough? Yes. All right, Joyce, come get the bowl, Joyce. So then she's gonna put some uh, marshmallows on top. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I, I, I would get in trouble. My grandma would make this dish growing up and mm -hmm. I would probably eat, eat more marshmallows, marshmallows more than I would put on, the, on my uh, souffle. Okay. But, uh, cause I, I love marshmallows. Marshmallow is so good and toasted, good, mm -hmm. especially good with, and hot, hot chocolate. That's right, hot chocolate's mm -hmm. good too. We, we used to do, we used to make s'mores. Oh, okay. You know, put it on the fire. That's good. You know nothing about that. That s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> is this enough? Because this is a lot of this is a lot of marshmallows. This is a lot of marshmallows. Okay. So now that we put the marshmallows on, okay, and we have got it out. Can you spread it out a little bit, Deja? Okay, I'm spreading it out, making it even, making it even. She's it. gonna put it in a little bit of jar. Okay. Put a little cinnamon on top of that, just to add a little bit. Just, just 
just loved it. Oh, he had cinnamon. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Since, 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 since we ain't going to put your raisins in there, okay. we're going we to add that. That's right. Oven. All right. Now we put it in the oven, right? So yes. what, what is the temperature again? So we all be on the same page. 350. 350. That's right. Make sure it's 350. All right. So how long would you put it in there and keep it in there? Until your marshmallows get okay. pretty So it's brown. not really a time. You just no. got to watch. It's a feel, right. guys. Cooking is a feel. It's yeah. emotional. It's... It's, you just gotta feel it, that's right. Say it with me, feel it, that's right. All these are, are you gotta feel it. So we get ready to check it out, see how the marshmallows are, all right? Mm -hmm. Now we think we're ready. Deja, we're gonna take it out. Go and grab this. your oven mitts so that you can grab it up. On top. All right. Ooh, this looks incredible. Now listen, I ain't gonna front. This right here, this is what I'm talking about right here. So this is, I can smell it. It's like, it's all in my, everything. I just, it smells so good. It smells amazing, doesn't it? And remember, sweet potato and yams, they are the same thing. You sound like Reverend Z. So Deja and Reverend Z both don't know that they're both the same thing. Listen, we had a great time. Miss Ann, Deja, thank y'all so much. Listen, guys, this is incredible. And so make sure that you get your sweet potato souffle right and ready. And so as you see, it's not taking long. How long did this take us? About 30 minutes. About 30 minutes, 30 minutes. So we're rocking with us, all right? So once again, thank you guys. Listen, go ahead and get that together. And our next ingredients are coming up. We're about to get into our next dish, but listen, I also want to remind you what this is all about. It's not just about us cooking and having fun, but we also use this as an incredible opportunity to make a difference in our community. You know, Tab Cares. We've been doing this all year long. Matter of fact, one of the hallmarks of our church is that we believe in community outreach. So I've always been appreciative of how you continue to help us. You helped us get all the candy we could, all the book supplies for our kids, and you helped us bless teachers this year, and even helped us through our Hope Seed offering. And also during this time, we do our tab cares where we also focus on canned goods. That's right. That's something we do. And so I want you uh, to continue to bring your canned goods down to our Family Life Center. We want to make a tremendous donation to some incredible organizations within the confines of our community because we believe in making a difference. That's what making an impact is all about. So make sure that you bring your cans. That's significant. All right. Well, listen, guys, we get ready to get to a hallmark and a staple portion of the Thanksgiving meal. Listen, I know many people talk about uh, a lot of different things when it comes to the Thanksgiving meal. But listen, Thanksgiving is not Thanksgiving without some good dressing. So listen, we're about to make our dressing. And so I got our friends coming back again. We got Miss Ann, she's come back with us. But I also have my sweet princess, my little God baby. Dylan is gonna come and she's gonna help us and she's gonna be uh, helped by Joyce. So they're gonna come on over and we're gonna make our dressing. Come on, baby. Don't she look so pretty? That's right, look at my sweetheart. Just so beautiful, just so incredible. And so we get ready to make our dressing, all right? So we got Joyce up here. Y'all know Joyce, you know, uh, Joyce is in everything. So Joyce gonna help Dylan. And so here we are with our ingredients and those things. Come on, Miss Ann, talk us through our dressing. Make sure you get your ingredients. We're ready to roll. Okay, we um, baked the cornbread. Okay. Pre-did that. Okay. And we have it crumbled in the bowl. Okay, cornbread's already crumbled. We already made it. Mm -hmm. Any particular ones that you use? That's stove top, right? No, that's, no. Which, which is this? I like white lily cornbread. White, okay, cool. That's good. That's mm -hmm. good. Okay. There's the recipe okay. that we put out for the cornbread, so okay. they can make homemade cornbread. Home, you gotta make homemade. Homemade. You gotta make homemade. Right. I mean, you gotta. Not make Jiffy. Not Jiffy. Not Jiffy. No, 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 no. Right. You want your cornbread? Right. Y'all know that. I want mm -hmm. my cornbread. So we put the cornbread in here once we made it, and so we put it in here. All right. Talk us through what else we do next. Okay, we're gonna add the eggs. Add the eggs. Dylan. All right, Dylan, right. you gonna put it in. We wanna pour the eggs. Pour in it the in there. Oh, you're just an incredible pourer. That's amazing. Thank you, baby. All right. Okay. What else we do? And then we have the um, celery and onions. All right, we celery. sautéed those. Sautéed the celery and onions. With a little All margarine right. and a little butter. Okay, cool. That's it. Any particular, in, in just the way you put it in or just, just kind of the flow well, that you... Normally, I'll cook the celery first because it takes a little longer That's than the onions. Why is that? I cook about two or three minutes and then I add the onion to it. Why is that? stir it up. I guess because it's a green vegetable and the onions easily saute. Okay, cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what's our next thing? 
I add the um, cream of chicken soup. So this is cream of chicken soup. Mm -hmm. All right. How about the Campbell's cream of chicken soup? Okay. All right. Mm. And then what is the thing that we put in after that? Our stove top stuffing. We've already cooked it. Okay. We so add that. Okay. You then add that. Sorry, the stove to top. To the bowl. Top. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. It's already Help cooked. Joyce, you got it. Um, and we'll just add it in. And mm -hmm. Help it, Joyce. That's it. Ooh. Good, 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 good. And then you just stir it up. Mm -hmm. Stir that up. Joyce, what are you thankful for on this Thanksgiving? Um, good health and strength. Good health and strength. That's right. Because you work out a lot. You're at the gym. All the time. All the time. That's right. Dylan, anything you thankful for? What you thankful for? Your mom, who else? I for my grandma. For your grandma, that's right, Sister Betty. Who else? Anybody else you thank you for? Well, thank you for everybody. Everybody, that's right. So sweet. Such a precious girl. We so appreciate it. Love it. She's so amazing. That's right. Bro. All right. Then after we did that, we put broth in there. Yes. You said broth, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the chicken broth. Chicken broth. In particular, how much? We just put it all in there. Put it all. Put it all in there. All right. And once that's in there, just continue to stir it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. You gonna help her out? Okay. She's gonna get it in there with that arm reach. Yeah, Dylan you know, says she's gonna be a cook. That's right. Is that what you wanna do? That's cool. She wants to be like a goddamn, because, you know, I'm a master chef. That's so, right. That's right. I noticed she dressed like you. Look at that. Look. I, you hey. See? You see, great minds think alike. That's I how we rock you. and roll. What can we so, say? Yeah, it's it's always important. You know, I think dressing for me is like, and that's why I love these moments because for us growing up, mm -hmm. it was just for us to be in the kitchen. You know, I ain't go front. Growing up, grandma would be funny about who in the kitchen with them. Right. But when my aunts and my cousins, we would all come over, man, it was just so crazy and hectic. Mm -hmm. but it was such a love for everyone to come in, in the kitchen. That's why for okay. me, when I first came to TAF 15 years ago, can y'all believe I've been at TAF going on 15 years? Uh, the significance of, of, of us coming together to eat. If you read scripture, everything significant in the Bible happened over a meal, right? It's just, right. there's something that's so powerful uh, about us gathering together and coming uh, to make a meal. So we stirred it up, and then right. what's the next move? We gotta add it, gotta to, that add it to this bowl. Go ahead, Joyce, help us, it's heavy, so help. We can do it. All right, that's it, yay. Great job, Dylan. Okay, then we, we measure it out. That looks good. Y'all seeing this? I hope that you're flowing with it. That looks good, Dylan. You did an amazing job. Thank you. Wow, so incredible. All right, so once it's in there, and then our next move is we put it in the oven. Put it in the oven. And what's, what's the temperature on the oven? 400. 400. All right, we put it in 400. All right, and how long does that stay? Stay right here with me, baby. Probably about an hour, an maybe hour. an hour and a half okay. sometimes. Corner okay. house, you know, some people like their dressing stiff, I don't. Okay, okay. But you you want it to be, I don't I don't like hard dressing. Right. So about an hour. Yeah, I don't want no mm -hmm. I don't want no chewy, chunky dressing. Nope. I want nope. I want something that just kinda marinates. Because right. for me, I love to put cranberry sauce. Yeah. On my dressing. I don't know nothing about that cranberry sauce Ocean on Sprite. that dressing. That's right. Mm -hmm. So four hundred, how long does it stay in the oven? About an hour. About an hour? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's to let the juices soak in and everything else. Right. All right. Because everything in the dressing is already done. Okay, cool. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Joyce, come on. Let's get it out. It has been an hour and our dressing is ready to come on out. All right. And so we're going to get that dressing out. Listen, are you ready? You excited? Ready. I'm excited. How excited are you? Very excited. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Ta-da! That looks good. This is what you did. Look how incredible a cook you are. This is Dylan's dressing. That's right, that's what we call it. This is Dylan's dressing. That's, that's our whole recipe. Uh, I know Ms. Ann gave us the, the ingredients, but it's Dylan's dressing today. This is incredible, guys. And so now it's ready to roll. We're going to put some of that Ocean Spray Cranberry sauce. Yes, we are. All right, you did an amazing job. Look at him, just wave at him. That's right, you famous. That's right, everybody knows who Dylan is. All right, guys, that's our Dylan dressing. So once again, it's going to take us about how long to do that? About mm, a, maybe a couple of hours. A couple of hours. Cutting up everything. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is with a whole lot of love. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, once again, y'all get the next ingredients. We're ready to transition to our next meal. Yeah. 
Have you got your ingredients? We're ready to move to our next dish. Listen, but before we move into our next dish, once again, as I told you, one of this is not just about us fellowshipping and having fun, and we are really having an amazing time. And it's not just about us also collecting cans because that is really one way that we make a community impact. But one thing that we look forward to every single year is that we're also able to bless our rescue mission. That's right. So many of our brothers and sisters who are falling on hard times, and this is an amazing opportunity for us to show the love of Christ. So every year, the past few years, Years, we cook an entire meal for them that lasts the entire Thanksgiving holiday. I'm telling you, it's incredible. You're going to see some footage of us sharing with them and being a blessing to them. They look forward to it. Many of them come and they worship with us at our church, but many also, I see them throughout the city and they just always talk about PG. Thank you for the love that Tabernacle shows us every single year. So once again, thank you. We could not do it without your radical generosity. And so that's always important. Well, this is going to move to our next dish. And that's right. Y'all know I am a seafood lover. We done had seafood pasta but we also gonna do some salmon so listen I'm so grateful to have the famous the one and only I mean she gets on my last nerve but I love her to death come on Joyce y'all know Joyce we're gonna welcome her here and she is the one that's gonna help us with our salmon uh, she know I love her I'll be messing with her all the time but ain't we wouldn't be able to do what we do without Joyce and so I really appreciate her and she loves her pastor and loves her church so I really thank you so Joyce let's talk to the salmon you know this is my favorite because whenever you get lunch what am I getting? Salmon. That's right. So, all right, talk us through what you want us to do uh, with the salmon on today. Well, we prepared extra dressing. Okay. So that we're going to have stuffed salmon. Stuffed salmon, that's right. So we took some of the dressing we already made, but we did yes. keep it all It's already up. seasoned. That's right, already seasoned. So the same pretty much ingredients and things that we did for our dressing, we're just going to put it in here. Okay, cool. All right, so now you got it. We're going to make stuffed salmon, y'all. So let's go into it. What would you do? You would fillet the salmon, we which we've it. already prepped it. Uh -huh. And we we're got going to fillet, guys. Make sure that the salmon is fillet. All right. So we're going to put a small portion okay. so it don't run all over the pan. That's right. So y'all think Joyce could just be an usher? Joyce can cook, y'all. I'm telling you, she does. She does everything. She's amazing. Incredible. The amazing Joyce. That's going to be your name. I'm going to call you the amazing Joyce. Like the amazing Spider-Man. Like the amazing. That's it. All right. So you flip it over. All right. That looks good. That actually looks very tasty. It is. It really is. Because after you've had turkey, that's right. You want some seafood. That's right. So you'll stuff the salmon, and this is something that you can always put in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Okay. So make. now we're stuffed. You don't put it in there. Right. So we're gonna add a few shrimp. Shrimp. For that's color. Right. This, so this is just for color. And you and already taste. had that. I can see that you already had some of the dressings in there too, right? No, that season. That season. Okay. A special. Sauteed can you season. Tell me, can you tell me the secret? No, that's a secret ingredient. You can't tell the pastor the secret? No. But I'm the pastor. You might share it. I'm the pastor. You got you cannot. You gotta tell me the secret. Well, it's a lot of you can tell Cajun someone. ingredients. I, I won't tell nobody. I'll okay. write them down for you. Alright, cool. We'll do that. Alright. So we put it in our Cajun season. Alright, cool. And you just prep it and just it smells good, I will tell you. It's incredible. It I really absolutely is. love seafood. Um Everyone knows this is what I eat, so it is healthy. This is healthy, too. I mean, I know most people don't think about health and being healthy during Thanksgiving, but this really looks healthy. All right, so we got some extra season. What you gonna put on it? I love spice. Oh, yes, no, listen. I Joyce love spice. likes 10 fire alarm type spice. Every time we go out and get something to eat, she's gonna get the spiciest thing on the menu. So what is this? What spicy stuff is this? This is New Orleans New Orleans Cajun. Cajun. That's right. So we're gonna put some on top. Okay. Season it all up. Wow. Okay. And we're ready for the oven. What about this one? You gonna add that one or that's the season? No, we're just gonna add one. Okay. Because this we all may you have now, some guests now, that I can't know do. How spicy is that? Sure. Are you sure this is it? Yeah, but a lot of people can't take a lot of season. Okay. So we're just gonna add one today. So this is Joyce's but hot you, and spicy stuff. If it was stuff, just shall, for me. Just for you. You gonna add that Creole? Cause yes. she gonna put it in. There. Go ahead. This is this is us. Go ahead. Don't, don't be shy on it. Rocket. This is your dish. Woo! Oh, I can feel that. I can feel that in my heart. Feel the my heat. Woo! Feel the it's warm heat. Warm in here. All right. So now that we got it, and the next thing we want to do is prepare the oven. The 350. <laughs> For about 30 minutes. How do you tell? Like, cause cooking fish is hard. You'll be able to smell it. And it's just like a cake when it starts to smell all through the house. Okay. 
It's ready. But you don't want to keep it in too long. 30 minutes. Okay, just 30 minutes. All right. So 30 minutes is up, and you got to get your thing so you can grab it. Good. So we can get it out. And uh, woo, And after 30 minutes, ta-da, you have Joyce's hot and spicy stuffed salad. Yes. With, with Creole and shrimp. This looks good. It actually smells so amazing. The garlic and all that stuff looks good. Look, guys, this is going to be some good eating. Joyce, I'm not sure you can take this home with you. I got to take this with me. Okay. That's cool. We can rock. We'll, do you, we'll get you something else on the side. Thank you. All right, guys, listen, this is an incredible dish. I promise you, whoever comes to your home, eats with you, is going to have an incredible time. Listen, we get ready to go to the main thing. For most of us who come and talk, we're going to shift to that turkey. So come on. I want you to rock with me. Matter of fact, we're going to leave this kitchen so we can go and do a smoked turkey. What's up guys, once again, welcome back. It has been an incredible experience and we have been cooking with PG. I hope you've been following along. I hope that you've been having fun as we've been sharing in the different sides of Thanksgiving. Thank you to all of our wonderful guests who've been coming in. I hope that you've been going along with us as we're preparing ourselves for Thanksgiving. But listen, you can't have Thanksgiving just with sides. No, you gotta have Thanksgiving with, guess what? That turkey. So listen, we're out here and we get ready to make that turkey. I got my friend and my brother, brother Carlton McCray. He is uh, no stranger to us at Tabernacle Baptist Church. Matter of fact, some of our last great events, uh, Brother McCray and his crew has been cooking with us. So man, he's been so gracious to take out of his busy schedule and rock with us. Now listen, y'all don't count against him. He got this Falcons thing on his hat. We ain't going <laughs> to even go there. You know, I, I promise you, even though he got a Falcons thing on his hat, this thing is going to turn out great. So uh, uh, I mean, this is not going to be a loser turkey. Brother McCray, this is going to be a winning turkey, but we're going to let him rock with it. Brother McCray, how you doing? Doing good, Pastor. How are you? I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, man. First of all, I just want to say thank you on behalf of our church. You come through so often uh, with so many of our events. Trunk or Treat, you was out there. We do our Kingdom Fellowship, so thank you so much for your team. Even when we came back and we was at uh, our thing for church anniversary, y'all blessed us, so I appreciate it. So listen, thank we're you. here. I'm rocking with you. Now, people don't, don't be thinking I'll be cooking. Now, I know I just eat fish. You know, people know I gave up meat since 2008, but listen, I rock with the turkey. Matter of fact, one of the last things I ate was a, a good turkey. So talk to us what we're going to do today, how we're going to share this turkey, and what you feel we ought to do to help those out there to share with us in our Thanksgiving. Well, Pastor, first of all, uh, this turkey is prepared and ready to go, except... This ain't season. falcon, right? It's turkey. It's just turkey, okay, no Okay, cool. Falcon. I'll make sure. All right. <laughs> no, bur no dirty birds. No dirty birds. Uh, no dirty birds, Sean. Whatever you do. That's right. I have a variety of seasonings okay. I use from time to time. Sometimes I change it up depending on uh, my mission as okay. far as the turkey. Sometimes I fry a turkey, but this turkey... We're going to smoke. We're going to smoke it. Nothing like a smoked turkey. That's right. So it's different. Is this something like came from your family? What do you feel? Like, is this something you just got into? Because I'm always amazed. I mean, you out there and you show a lot of love during cooking. Uh, so what is it? Is that from your experience being brought up? Who did it? Your dad, your mom, grandparents? Who gave you this love for cooking? Uh, I just uh, tried different recipes. Mm. And this happened to be the best recipe wow. okay. when I take it and brine it. I okay. marinate this turkey for about 12 hours. 12 hours. Kosher salt. Wow. Uh, seasoning, different okay. seasonings, accent. Okay. Uh, a little bit of cumin. Okay. So uh, you tell them out there, they need to probably take take some time, half a day to, to let it get right? That's right. Okay. You just can't throw this in the smoker. You, gotta, no, you cannot do that. Okay. So, uh, and once I uh, smoke it, then I put it in the turkey bag. Okay. And I let it steam in its own juice, and okay. that makes it tender. That makes it tender. And one thing about the kosher salt, it opens the pores of your meat, so wow, all okay. your seasonings go into the bone. Okay, wow, wow, yes. wow. And that's important. Very important. Because you don't want no dry turkey, and you don't want no chewy, like, you know, you can't break and stuff, you know, so that's very important. That's so, right. Take me through it. Let's go through the process. Let's rock. Let's see how we can do it. Let okay. me know you see your plan. Let me see your process. So okay. you've already put this in here. This is a yes. turkey that's been prepared for, like, the last 12 hours, you said, right? Yes. Cool. All that's right. Correct. So y'all make sure y'all do that. Make sure that you marinate it. You got to get the juices in it. Got to get juices in it. That's what... Brother McCray says, so let's rock with it. Let's do it. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on, okay. the, on the grill. Okay. On so the you've snack. already put the, the, the stuff on it. Yes. You've already added this season and stuff on All it. All that's already on I see you got on. ice in here. Any particular reason that's just something that you do? You uh, Safety precautions. Gotcha. Uh, dealing with food, you want to keep this, this turkey at at least 41 got degrees it, got it, got before it. cooking. That's good. So I got it pretty close to room temperature okay. now. Okay. 
Anybody, anything else you would add? I know most people, when you come to the seats, I know this is what you brought, provide. What, well, anything else that you've seen that you think would work with people in their turkeys? What you think? Uh, Italian dressing. Italian when I'm dressing. There, I usually use Italian dressing. Italian dressing. Yes. That's yes, incredible. That's, that's another key. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You're giving yeah. out the secrets now. But it's okay. Okay. It's, it's we'll all right. It. That's yeah. pretty cool. All right. You to open it up. We ready to rock with it. Let's go. Okay. Guys, y'all hear what he's saying, Italian dressing. Make sure that you figure that piece out. Now listen, this is the state of the art. This is this that big boy right here. This that it's this that big boy it. smoke. How long did you hear? I gotta step back. Okay, I wanna make sure now. We're trying to make this safe, y'all. Woo! It smoked about three and a half hours. Okay, okay. Three and a half hours, guys. It's important. Three why three and a half? Hours. How do you, you know, why do you set that time? Why three and a half? Why not four? Why not two? Well, uh, by the uh, temperature that I cook, I cook about 275. Okay. About three and a half hours is good cooking time okay. for it. But now it doesn't have to be done in three and a half hours. Okay. That's when it goes back into the turkey bag and wow. cooks in its own steam. Wow, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So we sit here, we put it in, you got it, we rock it in, you in the smoker, three and a half hours. Now, yeah. after three and a half hours, what do we do? Those who are trying to figure out what the next move is, what's the next move? The next move is is to wrap it in and uh, to put it in the cooking bag. Okay. And that's where it steams okay. and it's on juice and I put it back on the grill. Okay. Yes. And that's three and a half, then you take it back out, then you put it back in. Right. How much longer after that? Uh, probably about 30, 30, more 30 minutes. 40 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are uh, you feeling that? You timing that exactly? Or you just like, I mean, I know you're the professional. We may have a lot of people out here not professionals like you. Uh, you just feel it. That's kind of what you've been rocking with. Digital thermometer. Oh wow! Okay. Temperature. Okay. I, I get the uh, once it reaches 165 degrees, that's when I actually put it in the bag. Okay. So okay. I'm testing it, the temperature the whole time. Okay. Cool. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're done. Three and a half. We put the bag in. 30 more minutes. Let's go ahead and bring it out. Let's let's go okay. and show the people um, uh, what we're gonna do. So. Ooh, Jesus. Yes. Okay, pass. Okay, we just. I only eat turkey, and that looks good. That's good. What you put in there? What stuffing? Uh, no oh, stuffing. This, not yet. You don't do the stuffing. Uh, I, sometimes I do. Okay. Okay. But uh, this time I did. Woo! Look at this boy. Woo! So now it's the been in here, man. This thing looks good. I ain't gonna front, Mr. McCray. So what is the now the move? Uh, you bring, man. That that thing looks good. It's ready to be sliced, past. Okay. It's good to go. It's good to go. Yes. So what do you think of through the slice? You know, typically, you know, my granddad would do that. You know, he was at the table, rest in peace, Big E. Um, so I, I was just, we were talking a little bit about, you know, so your juices in it, the Italian dressing. Is this the look that you want? That's the look. Wow. That's the look. Not only the look, the texture, mm -hmm. and, and, and the flavor is in the turkey. It's right there. No doubt, it's in there. Man, this looks good, Mr. McCray. I'm telling you, listen. Guys, I'm telling you, this thing's smelling so good. I can already feel the smoke. It's all in my clothes. Man, this is, I had to change. That's why I look different in this piece. I had to change because I knew it's gonna be that smoke, that flavor, that texture. I'm telling you, I don't even know what to call this. I mean, the McCray turkey. I mean, I just feel like we're gonna name it the McCray turkey. It's like, just feels right to say the McCray turkey. That sounds right to That's me, right, Pastor. that sounds right. But you're gonna win. This is a winning This is turkey. a winner. Yeah. This is a winning As you know, not too long ago, the Falcons were in the Super Bowl and uh, they were up 28-3, but they, they ended up looking like turkeys. So that's that's how we got this. I, that's, that rocks. That's good. That's how we're gonna rock. <laughs> Listen, love you guys. This is incredible, man. This is a major part of Thanksgiving. And for all the things that we've been sharing from our sides, man, this has been incredible. And this turkey, I'm telling you, it's the centerpiece of Thanksgiving. Now listen, y'all know I don't rock with meat, but man, I ain't gonna front. You almost tempted me, Brother McCray, to get in there. So listen, we got something else we're gonna share because you know we gotta top this thing off. We gotta make sure that we have an incredible time because the meal is incredible, the turkey is ready, our sides are ready, and guess what? We're getting ready to rock and roll to our desserts. We got a special dessert for you today. I'm excited. Thank y'all so much for sharing with us. That thing is looking so good, smelling so amazing. So listen, guys, let's get ready to rock and roll. We can ready to go back inside as we go and prepare the last portion of our Thanksgiving meal. All right, we are now at our grand finale. Listen, I wanna thank you 
for tuning in, rocking with me today, sharing cooking with PG. It's such an incredible experience. I always look forward to this moment. And even though we couldn't be technically together, the way we're able to cook together and just have fun together and love together, listen, I'm praying God's choices, blessings be with your family during this Thanksgiving season. I want you to know how much we love you as a church and appreciate this moment. Well, listen, we're getting down to the grand finale. That's right. Every year we look forward to our special dessert. Listen, and so this year I'm so excited. I get to make a sour a cream pound cake but listen I'm not gonna do this by myself we have some people very important not just to me I absolutely love them but also important to our church and to our community so I'm gonna ask uh, Miss Mary Brown to come forward and she's gonna bring her love her partner with her Deacon Ronald Brown what's up guys hey, thank y'all for hanging out with me hello, today hello. and so listen I was so excited when I was told listen we're gonna do a sour cream pound cake now I've had it before yes Ooh. That thing is incredible. So listen, I want you to rock. How do you make this sour cream pound cake? Well, Pastor, the first thing I do is uh, you leave your butter. And you leave your, uh, yes, you leave your butter, and I use Land of Lake butter, okay. and your eggs out for one hour okay. before starting the preparation. That's right. And if you do that, you can go a little faster, okay. and you won't have to be mixing right. too long. Cool, awesome, awesome. Okay. So we got the butter in. Remember, make sure you leave the butter out so it'll be ready to roll. And then what we do? What do we do after Okay, that? and then after you leave your butter out, you cream, you cream together. Okay. Three sticks of butter. Three sticks of butter. Three cups of sugar. Three cups, that's a lot of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready, I'll tell you, I am ready to be lit for Thanksgiving. Six eggs. Six at eggs. At room temperature, remember room, room temperature. Mm -hmm. And you, after you fold in your eggs mm -hmm. and your sugar, you blend all that together. Okay. Okay, and I use I like to use my hand blender. That's right. Because with the electric one, sometimes you'll walk away and then something will mix too long. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> dark. He didn't put it in like he should have. So after that, you blend all this together. Okay. Where'd you get this recipe from? Is this? This is Doc. Grandmother recipe. Doc's grandmother's recipe. Doc's grandmother recipe, and I have perfected over 42 years. 42 years. So how was that early? Because y'all been married how long? 42 years. 42 <laughs> years. I'm 42. I dated 10 years. Dated 10. Then got married. Yeah. It made you wait 10 years. Yes. Lord have mercy. Until she perfected the cake. I get it. He said you had to get some things right to get it in. Yes, yes. That's incredible. So after you you blend that together, okay. you take your sour cream. And after you've done your blending, you take your sour cream and a quarter spoon of baking soda. Okay. You can tell Doc like the doctor. He's just holding the stuff up like, like, like he's in surgery. Take <laughs> your baking like soda, me. put it in your sour cream. Okay, so you put it in the sour cream. Put it in your sour oh, cream. Wow. Okay. And you blend it together. Okay. And this is grandma's recipe. This is this is his grandmother recipe. Wow. What's grandma's name? Uh, Alice. Alice Roberta. So this is Alice sour cream pound cake. I love and it. And you leave it, you set it to the side. Okay. Take your flour. Okay. Fold your flour in. You yeah. fold that in. Okay. Okay. And you blend this all blend together. This in together. So, Doc, how was it? I mean, so you got this from your grandma. So, you must have grew up in a household where there's some good cooks. Oh, my grandmother was a great cook. Wow. And maybe uh, had made a little more um, food for me. <laughs> okay. My grandmother had 12 and 8. Really? 12? And, uh, Instead of 6, she doubled it up. <laughs> Wow. It, you just got such an art to this. So is this really just feeling it, right? Yes, sir. I I I go home sometime after work at night, even if it's 10 o'clock, if Doc says, I don't feel like a piece of pound cake. Really? I'll go in the kitchen and bake him a pound cake. Wow. So Doc come home and be like, listen, I just want a pound cake. And you just start rocking and rolling. I just start rocking and rolling, Pastor. So is that a key for the 42 years? That's what's... Oh, yes. Oh, she can cook it all. She can cook it all. <laughs> that, that's that's a word for, for the people. Let's, let's keep the fire going. I love it. Keep I love the fire it. going. Ooh, I love it. Keep that. And it on that baby at night. Right. And let it soak and saturate down okay. through it. And that's after it. that's been blended together, you take your sour cream. Okay. 
and then pass off, take my spoon. Go ahead, you got it. Put your sour I'm cream I'm just in here just trying to help. I, matter of fact, I need to, I need to make sure I get some of this over. So. <laughs> Staff tried to say I look too clean to be in this cooking show. Okay. Can you, can you believe that? Fold in your sour cream, then you add your three extracts. Okay? Almond, vanilla. That's right. And lemon. That's right. It looks so good, so tasty. Okay. You put one eighth of almond extract. Mm. Just an eighth. Just an eighth. One quarter of. One quarter of lemon. You know, I'm, this is just, just see how it comes together. That's always, you know, when I, when I get, when I bake, you know, because baking is therapeutic for me. You know, it's just when it all comes together, makes doc. You know, you know what I'm saying. This is, just works. You know. Fold in your lemon. Oh, it just no, works. It and then you, does. vanilla. And vanilla is one teaspoon. One teaspoon of vanilla. Yes. Fold it all in. And you keep it all succinct. You be rocking and rolling. <laughs> I love it. And, and we mix it together. Yes, we blend all this together. You want to try it, Cassie? I'm going to let you roll with it. I'm just going <laughs> to. I'm just. I'm gonna tell you. I'm, I'm gonna tell you my favorite part. Y'all gonna laugh at me. I wanna lick the bowl. Like I know, growing up, being able to lick grandma's mixing bowl. I, I, it's taking everything in me not to stick my finger in this right now. It's taking everything in me not to stick my finger in that bowl. Listen, that's part of cooking is making sure you lick that bowl when it's done. So I'm, I'm gonna try okay. to hold out and be good. So we have it all blend together. We're gonna. Set this aside, mm. and your oven is at 300 degrees. 300 degrees. For one hour. For one hour. Do not open the oven. Do not open it for three hours. Put that Pam in there. I know about that. <laughs> yes. Pam is very good. You don't have to, I remember grandma used to take a, a what, a, what was it, he? Crisco. That's right. Use, Use that Pam. Pam. Spray your pan. Make sure you get it nice and even, so when your cake come out, it won't stick to the pan. It won't stick to the pan. It okay. Won't stick to the pan. Take all that. I'm gonna just handle the bowl when y'all get through. Fold it into a bun pan. Turn the pan for me, baby. Such a partnership. I just <laughs> intuitively know what you gotta do. I love that. Do what you're told, and yes, ma'am. That's it. Okay. Fold it in the pan, in your cake pan. Take it in the oven, 300 degrees for one hour. One hour. Okay. And Doc and I usually be listening to old school music. What kind of music y'all be listening to? James Brown. James Brown. I'm black and Sam, I'm black. Sam Cook. Sam Cook. Roy C. Uh-huh. Uh, I love Percy, it. Percy Sled. We got to get it out the oven first. Set it right there for me. <laughs> she said, we can't get it just yet, Doc. Just not yet. <laughs> You're going to have to Give me some more music. Bobby Womack. Bobby Womack. What's your favorite Bobby Womack song? Uh, I Can Understand. I Can Understand. Ooh. And after that one hour is up. Did we go in there? Take your cake out of the oven. Now she done told you. Then once it's done, an hour, y'all, the final prop. Boy, it smells so good. And this is your finished product. Look at this. Sour cream pound cake. Let me tell you something. Look at this. Doc, I see why. 42 years. <laughs> Guys, this is our special treat. Listen, this has been incredible. This smells so amazing. Sour cream pound cake. Thank y'all so much. You're welcome. Listen, you're welcome. Y'all gonna enjoy this. this.
Thank you again for joining us for our Cooking with PG. It has been an incredible time. I want to thank each and every one of you just for loving on one another in the midst of everything that's going on. I still believe in the power of love, love that we get from Christ and love that we have for one another. Listen, as you can see, this has been an incredible time for us to come together. I mean, it smells so incredible from our turkey, our salmon, our dressing. We appreciate our seafood pasta and also our sweet potato souffle. That's right. And also our green bean uh, casserole and also we're so grateful for uh, everyone who's been a part of it and who can forget our sour cream pound cake. Listen, on behalf of our staff and the leadership and the fellowship of our amazing church, we love you so much. We thank you. We hope and pray that you have a great time. Also, thank you for our canned goods that helped us be a blessing. Thank you for allowing us to be a blessing to our rescue mission. We could not do this without you. So listen, on behalf of all of us, we want to tell you for the final time, Happy Thanksgiving!